three, two, one. You wouldn't expect that to be as easy as it is to do. Yeah. <clears throat> So we got a new laptop here in the studio today. I actually, the packaging is kind of nice. It enticed me from the get-go. Of course, you got the big yoga branding on the top. The current device that I've been using, you probably saw it on the set on the desk downstairs, the X1 Yoga. So since I've been using this one for so long, I thought it was worth checking out a slightly different version of a similar laptop this is also the latest in the yoga department from Lenovo, and it has some features that for some consumers might be more interesting than the solely business-focused X1 Yoga. This is the C940, which is the new version of the 930. You're into something like that, Will. Yeah. Right, right up your alley right there. And look at that, wow, okay, so it's like, two different takes on a very similar form factor, as you can see, is ever so slightly more narrow. That's the new one right over there, as you can see. The display ends up taller than it does on the C940. The speaker layout is another thing I notice immediately that changes quite a bit. The X1 Yoga, you have it in this top channel up here, as opposed to right along the hinge. It also moves with the display, and since this is a convertible, unit you can see how flipping it around now places that speaker facing upright it has a grill on each side there's a grill on the front and a grill on the back you can spec this thing up to 4k display with touch input it's also got a pen in this little oh it does not have a pen oh there's the pen that's a sneaky location look at that right there the whole construction here is metal and glass. As far as your ports are concerned, you have a USB type A port, followed by your power port slash Thunderbolt 3. There's a couple of those ports, a dedicated headphone jack as well. And then the other side of the unit, you have your power switch. There's also a fingerprint scanner on the front side of the device right about there. This one's gonna give you a couple more ports on it. A USB type A power port, a lock. You get the headphone jack, full size HDMI, then you're gonna get another USB-A port, Thunderbolt, and there's even a networking interface available to you. So you're gonna give up a couple of ports. Trackpad, fairly large in the center of the unit. So the key travel is not quite to the same extent as the ThinkPad lineup, but you still have a similar curvature and scale. Slight differences here include on the directional buttons here, larger left and right buttons, some buttons have shrunk a tiny bit, including the right shift key, the enter key, backspace. There's a little elevated, almost reverse notch type of situation going on. You can have a slim bezel, but maintain your front facing camera in the location you would wanna have it at the top edge of the display. It also gives you a place to grip when you open the device. You can open it at least to a reasonable location there with only one hand. As you'll see here, I go ahead and attempt to grab that and the whole unit goes up. You see that there, Jack? The whole unit goes up. Oh, that's a little, it's a, it's a durable, it's a rugged. We're okay, right, Will? No. no. This, of course, a 500 nit display, 4K resolution. You can get the entry level version with the 1080p display starting at 1299, but that's what 500 nits looks like. Pro Max. Give you an idea Hi, there. It's coming. It's YouTube coming in, video. Uh, that's a 1080p shiny. video. Yeah. Yeah, two days. Not taking advantage so of every this. single pixel. Two days till iPhone 11. And sound. So, uh, everybody else got their hands on it though. Oh, interesting. You know? so we got to buy it from the store when it comes out. This Paradise. is interesting. Kind of interesting. Okay, so we we're getting sound here. See these speaker grills over here? That's where your low end is sort of originating from the bottom part of the uh, unit. Apple and then some of your mid or high and, range is coming know, from the grill here. Is it, does, it, does it tell us where this came out of? It's not just a dual speaker setup. There's some of the action in the high, in the high end is coming out of the grill location, the part that's facing you. And then the low end stuff is coming from the bottom of the unit and bouncing off the table. We could do a quick comparison actually. From when we're filming this, two days till iPhone 11. So, uh, everybody else got their hands on it though. And they do a tear down, very interesting stuff. What you discover is a rectangular shaped 
logic board. Okay, now that we have a white background at the top edge of the display, this also gives you a better glimpse at the front camera slash top bezel implementation between the two. You can see it's obviously uh, more narrow on the C940 when compared to the X1 Yoga. Look, there you have it, two different laptops. They're so similar, but yet there's these slight tweaks depending on the customer. There's also, of course, a price consideration. This one is gonna be a little bit less expensive if you're cool with skipping the ThinkPad keyboard and you can survive on this one. The main takeaway here is that as far as consumer laptops are concerned, this one was capable of pulling significant DNA from the business grade laptops in Lenovo's lineup. And this has been boiled down into something that a consumer could consider.